Hi, I'm Paweł Spychalski and I think I found my new favorite 7 inch propellers and they are, yes exactly, they are the 7 inch Dalprop Folds. When like two months ago I reviewed the Dalprop 5 inch Fold, Fold F5 propellers, I was, let's say, fairly optimistic about them because they worked just fine, the quad was flying just fine, they were folding, but uh, the fact that a 5-inch propeller is folding is not really that big of a deal because uh, it's relatively small propeller, there's usually not really a problem with transportation. And back then I was very, 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 very interested in seeing this propeller in, for example, a 7-inch version. And... Uh, Foxier was thinking the way, exactly the same way I was thinking, and look what I have. Three weeks ago, I got only two pairs, and I really do regret that I got only two pairs, not the two pairs, two sets of the Dalprop Fold F7, the seven inch version of the Fold propeller. So it still falls, uh, maybe not completely, but it still falls. It's uh, much smaller than the 5 version because of course it's a 7 inch propeller and I have only one problem with this propeller. I really do wish that the Dalprop sent me more of those, not only two, because they are, they are amazing. Now let's roll the HD footage I recorded, actually that was my first flight with the 7 inch folds, uh, HD footage on my Pirx 7 and let's have some commentary about how they perform in the air. Usually I'm flying with the HQ Prop 7x4x3VH1 and I really was under impression, I was thinking that okay this is the best 7 inch propeller currently, the smoothest one ever and it works just great. When I first put the 7 inch folds, I was like, whoa, really? What's happening? I was really honestly amazed how smoother the Fold F7 is. Much smoother by the HQ, crop, HQ props. Okay, I'm to be kind of relatively fair, the, it was not the fully fresh set of the HQ props I replaced with the uh, false F7, so there might have been some, let's say, um, extra noise generated on the HQ prop, so they were not maybe as smooth as the uh, as the originals. But after flying this thing for the first time, the false for the first time, I put the brand new set of HQ props and still false F7 were smoother. I was really extremely impressed how delicate, smooth and controllable the flight on the 7 inch faults is. I have no idea why. I have no idea what they did. Maybe the fact that you really have the um, the same, virtually the same blade even coming, this may be coming from the same mold installed a relatively small and simple hub to manufacture that just makes this propeller balance from the factory. I don't know, maybe it's some kind of different magic, maybe it's the shape of the propeller itself, who really knows. Bottom line, it's bloody, bloody smooth and if you, th this is currently the smoothest 7 inch propeller I tried. However, uh, of course the faults are not the perfect propellers ever and this is something I signaled when I was reviewing the 5 inch version. They are not very durable, although they are, there are some arguments they might be durable. Because what happens on this one? This one looks pretty nicely, you cannot really spot any problems with this propeller, right? Right, but if I will find a propeller uh, that survived a crash or two, you will notice, hmm, I have too many of those, only eight, but still too many, and I'm just looking for the great example. Okay, this is still fine. This is still fine. Oh, this one. This one. Look what happens. Look what happened with this propeller. You see this chip over here? This was... This was visible with the 5 inch dulse, but with 7 inch dulse it's much more visible. During the crash or hard deceleration, 
the blades just hit each other and this blade makes a big mark on the trailing edge of the neighboring blade. Um, it's not that after an event like that the propeller should be thrown away and it's useless, but after a few beatings like that you will notice that something is wrong with the propellers. And although um, it's theoretically possible to, let's say, open the, the hub and replace the blades, uh, it kinda really makes no sense, at least from my perspective, because you cannot buy only blades, you have to buy them with the hubs, and this is not a simple simple task to open them, and usually it's not only one blade that it's damaged during the, during the crash. So, like I said, not the perfect propeller, there are some problems with those faults that are even bigger than with the 5-inch faults. However, if you are really looking for a smooth 7-inch propeller, this is the prop for you, honestly. Um, thank you, Foxer, for giving me only two sets. Uh, immediately after flying them, I order like 10 sets for only for me, because for my money, without asking anyone, because this is really amazing stuff. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Definitely my favorite seven inch prop right now. And because I'm flying a lot with seven inch propellers, they really will become handy. Um, is this the review of the DAL Fold F7? Yeah, I think this was the review of the DAL uh, Prop Fold F7 and the review is amazing, fold, amazing, really amazing, super smooth uh, and super, super nice to fly propeller with the problem of not the best dur durability, durability, because during the crash it just snaps and one blade damages the different one and if you like crashed for a few times even if the blades are relatively relatively straight those bands on the trailing edges uh tra trailing edges yeah trailing edges of the propeller will generate extra extra noise and uh, be at least audible in the in the hd footage from uh, your flight but besides that if you really plan to fly carefully and don't be shy to replace the propellers when there are just be too much of those of those bands cool really good job guys oh and maybe the fact that maybe slightly different shape of the of the blade would be a good idea because look they are not really folding completely nah, it, yeah, a few degrees more so that they really form a nice, uh, nice, thin a flower, a grass. Uh, Adidas logo? Or Adidas logo, for example. Okay, so um, that's all for today. Until the next one. Bye-bye.